Welcome to this week's edition of News One. I'm Skylar Hines. And I'm Chase Horn. This week, we'll take an inside look at Discover WT and find out how WT students felt about the Oscars. We'll also take a look at the 2009 Addy Awards, find out if WT students took home the gold. We'll also have the latest in buff sports. News One starts right now. It's that time again for WT students to select who will represent the entire student body. According to the WT website, three students have filed for the Office of Student Body President and two students will run for the Vice President's spot. The candidates will participate in a debate which will give voters an opportunity to hear where each candidate stands on various issues concerning WT. The debate will be tomorrow at noon in the Jack B. Kelly Center. Voting polls will be open March 3rd through the 4th. You can vote at any kiosk on campus or on WT class. For more information, call Student Government at 651-2385. A new non-credit course will be offered starting March 3rd called Novel Writing, Putting Your Stories on Paper. The four-week course, taught by published playwright and novelist Tim Lewis, will give students an overview of info needed for beginning writers. No previous writing knowledge or experience is required. Students who take this course will be eligible for Jody Thomas' Advanced Novel Writing course that will be offered in late April. Students will complete the class with a foundation in creative and skillful writing techniques. To register for the Continuing Education Department by March 2nd or call 806-651-2037 for more information. We are now joined live in the studio by someone who spent a little time around the campus this weekend, News One's very own Johnny Story. Now, Johnny, it was kind of busy around campus this weekend. Tell yeah. me about it. There were several events going on this weekend, uh, from UIL competition to Discover WT, which we spent most of our time. And on the other side of the break, we will take a look at what WT is doing to go green. And the Oscars were this weekend. How'd your ballot look at the end of the broadcast? Don't go away. News One will be right back. With the global energy crisis affecting consumers at the pump, and on household energy bills. Many consumers are looking to their power companies for answers. XL Energy's Smart Grid City Tour made an educational pit stop in Canyon on Monday. The mobile exhibit taught area high school and college students about household electricity and monitoring. I thought it was pretty interesting to see how much energy is being wasted and with this new grid program, how much energy can be saved. Excel's on-site crew told News One that the, global, that the goal of Smart Grid City is to educate young people on the importance of reducing energy loss in our power grid. About 200 students visited Smart Grid City on Monday and came away with a new understanding of electricity monitoring software. They had this where you can, from your laptop, you can access what powers you want on on your house, like what appliances. I got it, I got it, I got it. For more information about Smart Grid City can be found at www.xlenergy.com. Oscar night has come and gone, but did WT students take notice of the 81st Annual Academy Awards? Most students know their fair share about Hollywood and its celebrity gossip, but they don't necessarily care about the detail and craft of filmmaking. I did not watch the Oscars. I heard that they were on, but I didn't watch them. So. Several students told News One they didn't recognize many of the films nominated, including Best Picture, Slumdog Millionaire, which also won Best Directing and Cinematography, among other awards. The, the Dark Knight won Best Sound, Editing, and Best Supporting Actor, Heath Ledger. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button won Best Makeup, Visual Effects, and Art Direction, while Best Original Screenplay and Best Actor went to Milk. I think this year was an amazing year for cinematography and for acting and the entire package. So I'm really excited to see what goes on next year because they set the bar really, really high for movies this year. For more information on Academy Award winners, visit Oscar.com. And joining us in the studio, uh, excuse me, when we come back, News One's own sports guru, Jonathan O'Neill, will fill us in on how WT did this week. And Jarek Howard catches up with some of the senior women on the softball team. Stay tuned. This is News One. The Addies have come and gone, but WT students had a strong showing at this year's competition. Marcus Briscoe filed this report. The Oscars are all Hollywood is talking about right now, and tonight's entertainment reporter, Carlos Morales, is no exception. 
Carlos, take it away. Now, Skyler, I mean, I really liked Joaquin Phoenix and uh, when he played Johnny Cash. I mean, him singing rap? I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if he'll make a good rapper or not. Well, that does it for another edition of News One. Thanks for joining us. News One can be seen every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And as always, News One is streamed worldwide by going to wtamu.edu slash kwts. Have a good night.